Hello grade 6, today let's study together lesson 3 in unit 4, the last lesson in unit 4 for the first term here, it's called solving inequality in the previous lesson we learned before what is the meaning of inequality, exploring inequalities now in this lesson I can, how can you solve the inequality by representing on the number line here, preload example, represent this number line here for the inequality, if I say that x greater than 2 x greater than 2 so x greater than 2 2 it's not a solution for this inequality the integer greater than 2 after 2 is 3 and 4 and 5 and so on 6 so I have here from 3 and so on the set value satisfies the inequalities 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. But if I say that x greater than or equal to, so I have here 2 is a solution. Make point for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. I have 2 included the solution of this inequality. But if I say that x less than 2, what is the number of less than 2? Less than 2 is meaning 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. Yes, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, and so on. Okay? But what about for x smaller than or less than or equal to? So I have here 2 is a solution of this inequality from 2 and make. 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. That's a solution for satisfy for this solution. I can write here the value satisfy the inequality of x greater than or equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Here, x less than 2, I have 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. But here, 2, 1, 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. That's our lesson today. Lesson 3 in Unit 4, Solving Inequalities. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for the channel of MBS. Thank you, grade 6.